Hello YouTube, this is our tutorials and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a spinning text assembly in Sema 4D and here's a preview in Sema 4D of, of what we're going to be creating today. Um, so yeah, I'll play it and let you uh, take a look at it. So as you can see, each letter uh, comes into the, the other text at the back and um, while that is going on, uh, the text is spinning in different directions, and this is very a very common type of intro. But uh, I just did it a little bit different than usual. So let's get to work. Go to File New in Cinema 4D. File New. Create a text by going to MoGraph Mo Text. Uh, then increase the depth of the text while having the text selected and in the objects tab increase the depth to uh, 60 and uh, you can rename it to whatever you like and change the font I will use soldier for this one okay now let's uh, let's select uh, the position or the line and uh, put it to middle and let's align the camera right in the middle like that and so straight looking straight at the text and then let's zoom in okay uh, now let's create a camera by going to this tab and clicking on camera now beside the camera there is a black square and you want to click on that so it turns white that means that you're looking through the camera and go to frame 0 and uh, uh, hit keyframe while having the camera selected okay now um, now let's duplicate this text so um, click on this text and uh, Actually, first let's uh, let's create caps for the text so it looks nice. So go to caps, start cap, fillet cap, radius, put it to two, and end cap also fillet cap and radius to two. And now let's duplicate it. So uh, select it, hold control, hit C on the keyboard, and then hit hit V and that will duplicate the text okay now um, now this text selected in the caps tab uh, go to start cap um, fill it put it to fill it and increase the radius to uh, to 4 and uh, the end cap uh, keep it at fill it cap and increase the radius to 3 uh, I have this little pop-up sorry about that Alright, uh, so now this other text that we duplicated is hollow. So if we look to the side of the text and drag it back, you can see that this text is hollow, but uh, put it in about the middle of the first text and select it and go to Object, Objects tab or object tab and uh, decrease the depth so that it's uh, exactly the same depth as this text alright uh, so now we can uh, move on to the plane effector part uh, in which in which we will make the text fly in letter by letter and later on we will uh, make it spin so uh, select the second or the first text that you created and go to MoGraph Effector and select Plane. Okay, uh, having Plane Effector selected, go to Effector tab, or actually no, go to Parameter tab and uh, decrease the PY to zero so that it doesn't uh, doesn't go up and uh, increase the PZ, actually decrease the PZ uh, to about 
uh, about 900. Okay, now go to fall off tab and select the shape, put it to box. Okay, uh, now there's a uh, there's little markers on or little uh, squares on the sides. You just have to drag them to uh, increase the size of the box. So increase the size of the box slightly larger than the actual text, and just increase the size of the uh, the inner red box just a little bit, and drag the box up to the middle of the text and go to frame 0, hit keyframe while having the plain box selected and uh, go to frame uh, 70 and drag the box uh, to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter and uh, hit keyframe make sure all the text is in the in the view okay now it's part it's time to make the uh, the assembly spin so select all of the text and the plane by either selecting one of them and uh, holding shift and selecting the last one or just dragging your mouse like that to select all of them okay now right click and click on group objects now uh, go to frame 0 and uh, let's just put a keyframe right here and then go to frame uh, frame let's see frame 20 and uh, select the rotate tool and rotate it uh, actually I don't know why it's rotating like that oops okay uh, rotate it hold shift rot it, rotate it uh, let's see I don't know where to rotate it because it's the position of the box is messing up the whole thing let's just rotate it to the side like this for now like so and holding shift so that all the angles are uh, perfect and now uh, let's hit keyframe then go to frame 40 okay uh, turn it this way maybe up and oops holding shift so that it's uh, so that it's 90 degrees and holding shift again so that it's back to what it originally was okay and hit keyframe then go to uh, frame let's see go to frame 60 and turn it right back to how it was before in the beginning okay and hit keyframe again so now if we play this it looks like that it's not as good as the other one but whatever it's still good enough uh, so yeah that's pretty much it I'm just gonna show you guys how to texture it so uh, double click on the materials tab double click on the new material you created and change the color blah 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 then uh, uh, check off reflection, texture, Fresnel, and max strength. Let's put it to 70 and brightness of the um, the first reflection here. Turn it down. Okay, uh, let's put it over the text. Over. Uh, let's put it over the first text. Okay. Uh, oops actually I think I put it yeah I put it all over the first text then the look again on the materials tab and create a new material then change the color again um, I don't know which color I should use 
I'll just try uh, blue and uh, select the reflection and texture again for snell mix strength max or mix strength uh, 70 and brightness 0 oh actually I selected gradient uh, here we go for snell and drag it over to the other part of the text okay uh, now now we can create lighting so uh, go to the objects uh, menu object selection menu and select plane and uh, increase the size of it drag it up over the text okay uh, drag it just a little bit in front and create a new material double, double click on the new material deselect the color, deselect the specular and select luminance and just drag this over the plane okay and right click on the plane in uh, the objects menu go to semaphore d tags and select compositing then deselect uh, receive shadows and scene by camera okay now go to edit render settings effect ambient occlusion effect again global illumination in global illumination go to iridan sketch tab put stochastic samples too low record density also too low and exit out of this and let's hit render okay so this is how it's gonna look it actually looks pretty nice and if we just turn it a little bit like that and let's render this and see what it looks like yeah that looks pretty cool so uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, thank you f to all the subscribers that have been subscribed to me since day one um, I really appreciate that please subscribe if you're new if you like my content and please like my videos um, if you don't mind and yet yeah, see you guys later